the location of the master cylinder and the first chain Scion TC is this is the glove box right here this is the reservoir for the brakes and also the master cylinder and right here is the strut tower so you're gonna go behind and there it is right there can you see it I can get it to focus right there that's it that's the clutch master cylinder for you guys right the there, one right there the right that's there. it right there you gotta remove so that's where the location is behind this guy right here Let's go ahead and remove the glove box. Oh, a little hard. <laughs> Let's put that on the side. Like this. Let's undo this. This is exposed. Let's get the filter out. And it's a little cleaning. And then just go ahead and let's remove this 10 millimeter right here. Okay, now we're ready to stick our hand in here and do the work. Just unplug this so it won't be in our way. And yeah. So we're going to be removing that hot line right there, if I can get it to focus, that one right there, that's what we're going to be removing, and then the hose clamp right there also, so that's going to be next. For best results, remove this one right here, it's a 12 millimeter, let's get it out of the way. That way you have more flexibility on the line. Now it's out. As soon as you get it untied, you can just untie it with your with your hand and then just lift it up. And this this gives you more, more flexibility to move it around. So behind the, the panel. Right, right behind that piece, you're gonna see one bolt. Right in there. Just stick your finger in there and you'll feel the one bolt. And then the other one, it's on the other side, right there. Okay guys, uh, let me tell you, it's, it's not so simple. <laughs> There's two nuts, okay? 
and there's this right there. The other one that you need to remove is, let's see if we can get a light. It's be behind the paddle. Like you need to remove the, the uh, spring right there. It's pretty easy, you just gotta let the, this go down and then you just get it out. It's pretty straightforward. But the one that I'm telling you is behind here. So you need to have the pedal like that. And it's gonna be behind here. You can feel it with your finger. It's not this guy right here, okay? Cause that's, that's when you can press it in. It's, it's behind there, okay? And it's best if you use this right here at 12, a wobbling head. Okay, uh, try to do it just with the wobbly head and the ratchet combined. Just stick it in, stick it right there. Uh, like I was telling you, stick it in, in there. And then just use the ratchet and start taking it out. And then when it's loose, it's just an, an extension. Use an ex extension and then take it up by hand. It's not really simple, but it just, what I, the way I did it is I was just filling it with my, look at my glove, it's all <laughs> turned apart, but I was filling it with my, with my finger like this. Then I grabbed the tool and then Kind of line it up and that's how i took it out it's best if you don't remove this pin and this guy just take this out first the the one that i was telling you behind the pedal take it out first and then remove this because this as soon as you remove this that that cylinder cylinder thing it's gonna be on your way that guy right there gonna be in your way so remove the knot first that it's behind this behind this right here behind there and then take out the pin with that thing okay right, that's the best advice that I can give you guys it's not it's not simple you gotta have a lot of patience but uh it's out. So the knot has been removed. This clip right here, and this guy right here, and this pliers right here. Make sure when you're taking the clip out, you get in enough room so you won't hit your forehead with your hands or maybe this. <laughs> Didn't happen to me, but I saw it coming. You know what I mean? So yeah, now that we got that, remove to be able to just uh, get the master cylinder out of the way it's already loose and everything so let's get that all right so once you remove that it's just a matter of then you see now it, it wiggles it's just a matter of getting getting them out of the way. Yeah. Just to have that hose attached it because I thought it will, will be easier if I just pull it out of there like I'm doing right now and then remove the hose. But there is guys, yeah, that freaking thing. That's it. So that's the two balls that I'm t telling you. This one is really visible. This one over here, not so much. Just kind of look at it. Oh, that gasket looks pretty. Oh, it doesn't look so good. Hmm. Anyways, this is what it looks like. This is gonna 
This is where we're gonna be rebuilding. Just gonna remove that clamp. Get it out of the way. All right. So I said that I was gonna rebuild this guy right here. And this is what it came in the kit. The rebuild kit. So let's see what's inside of it. So basically, I stick this in like that, and this guy move it to this side right here, like that. Now I was able to just get it out, and as soon as I took this orange thing, everything came out apart. I'm just gonna let it go now. That's it. can see the inside of this there is so that's what also comes in the kit Oof. So this is what it looks like in the inside That's what it looks like. So this is the way that I find out how to replace the rubber that is up here. With the, this guy right here and a hammer. And then to push it all the way out, I'm gonna use this one right here. It's really thin. So it actually goes in there. And well, this is how I'm gonna do it.
It's almost out. to come all the way out. There we go. It's out. Got it out. So I keep hitting with this, right right here, didn't get damage, so it come out. So this is the part that we're replacing. I will highly suggest you to use some uh, degreaser to clean the inside of this. It's going to be very important to clean it out. with a flat head, just spread it out and it comes out. Now I'm using this, clean it. I don't know if you guys can find it in your states, but this is what I get. It's really good. I've been cleaning a lot of parts with that for the past few years. With really good results. I had had I had really good results cleaning that. I don't know if you guys heard that. But yep. This is the gets really clean. All around. Clean it out. Might be really dirty. You want to get it as clean as possible. So we get the, the new part with this part that is being cleaned up. Actually, we just need a little bit more. Yeah, pretty clean. So let's put the rubber seal back in it. Make sure that you're putting it right. Put it in the wrong. <laughs> Make sure they, you put it in right. Just like that. Yep. Let's, be, let's just install it back on. Put the pin back on. to get it in there, line it up like that. Or we can probably do it this side.
Actually, this is how Toyota recommends to do it, but on a vice. Since I lost my vice, I have to go this round. Pushed all the way in like it's supposed to. Yep, we're ready to go. I believe we might be able to expand this just a little bit. Firmly secure. There you go, it's there. That's how it looks like after it's installed. This is what it looks like after you install that rubber right there. Nice and firm. A little bit of play, I think that's just normal. There you have it. So you put this one first and then this one like this because this is going to be covering right there and now we're going to put the nut on back on and now we're going to screw this in and we're going to make sure that we do the, the six lines one two three One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, right there. Okay, so now we're gonna adjust. I mean, tight it. After we adjust it, just gonna tight it. like that a little bit more okay that's I think that's good enough let me let me just double check Yep, that's good enough. Okay. Now that we got that taken care of, we're putting this guy back in. This is how it goes. Goes in. The spring goes first. And it goes like that. Now we're supposed to push this all the way in.
bear with me guys so now, now that we got that in we are supposed to put this ring back on Oop. Oh, this just fell off come on stay there Okay, now it's not, it's not gonna work like that. We need to, we need to fit this guy in there first. Okay, so we need to put this guy on first like that let's put the ring there put it on top of it I think that'll be best to do it and now I'm just gonna be we'll be able to Yeah, we got it, guys. So, I don't know if you guys saw what I did, but I just squeeze this in, squeeze it, squeeze it in, and with the finger, with this finger right here, I push it down, and it went in. And I just keep pressing it down. Now it's in there. It's ready to roll. Just gotta put this cover back on. See if we can put it back on. <laughs> yeah, we will.
Oh, sorry guys. There you go. So with the screwdriver, I put one side in and the other one just pick it up with the screwdriver and try to put it around. And there it goes. Now it's back how it used to be. Now the fun part comes as we're gonna bleed it. So stay too for that. Hope you guys saw everything that I did, but basically I I put one side in and the other one I picked it up with the screwdriver really gentle trying to make it go wider and then push it start pushing it with the finger and everything went in almost the same way as you take it out and it's in everything's in now so this is kind of like the setup that i have right now
So what I'm doing is I'm just pushing this a little bit, little by little, and keep an eye on the bubbles. See when they. Every time I push it, see if any come out. These hoses right here, you can get them at when you get in that kit to pump um, transmission fluid back to the transmission. They say they sell you like a pump and the, the hoses that go with it. That's what these are. This one I modified it a little bit. This one right here to make it fit in there. And that one and this one over here fits fine. So. That's what I'm doing right now, just making sure all the bubbles are out. And then up here I have some some fluid that I've been adding a little by little. This is how I'm getting the bubbles out. And this, this one right here is full of fluid because I notice every time you push this, it will suck. If this is empty, it will suck uh, air into it again. And so this whole table is a mess because <laughs> I, I was experimenting with everything, thinking how, how to do it and I think I finally got it. This is the one that I'm using. In case you guys are wondering. So yeah, so far so good. I don't see many big bubbles coming out. see any really coming out anymore the tiny little ones okay I think I'll just uh, just put this tap on so I remove this guy Put it over here. And then I'm gonna put this cap on top of it so it won't go in anymore. And if anything no, I'll just I'll just do it with the with the slave seal on there and just get it out with the slave seal on there. But I think I got most of the air out, we'll see. So now basically it's gonna be putting everything back the way you took it out. So here goes nothing. I can't really see back there, so put it in a light.
All right, guys, in this part right here, I will highly suggest you to remove the battery. It's gonna give you a lot more room to work and it's gonna be way better, I promise. So when you put in the um, clutch master cylinder back, remove the battery. Or even when you're taking it out, it's gonna give you a lot more room, I promise you guys. Just a matter of lining the holes and then pushing it back. I believe it's gonna be easy if we add the hose in before the line. And this is the hard line right here. So at the this hose right here with the clamp first and then the hard line. All right, so now we're gonna go inside. We're gonna put one of these and the nuts. We're gonna put it where we took it out, which is all dark. That's uh, right in there somewhere. I'm gonna put a bolt in there so that way the the clutch cylinder won't move. Just remember where you got them out and put the, the easy one first, which is I think right over here somewhere, right over there, right on this side. Put the easy one first and then work your way around. Okay guys, and over here I'm trying to put the hard line back on, trying to tighten it up, and we already know that that didn't work at all, so yep, I just made my own, my own fittings, my own line, you guys are gonna see that next, but this right here didn't work, work at all, no matter how hard I tried, it didn't work. All right, guys, a quick update on the clutch master cylinder and the slave cylinder on the Scion TC. It took me a while to figure out things. And here goes what I did. So I got rid of that stupid, crappy hard line. See, it was just dumb, okay? I make my own. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's, it's right there you guys can see it it's a it's a flexible line i don't know if you guys can see back there focus please let me show the people what i did focus focus right there so you guys can see it that's what i did i just measured a stupid line right there from from here from one second. From right there, where the subline starts. So this is this is the subline right here, right? And it goes down right there. So that's where I measured it from. From there, all the way over, the, over here it was 48, 48 long, 48 inches long. And so I used the same clips that were on the on the line, the original line, and put the 12 millimeter bolts to go under the battery and right over here also, as you can see right there. And that's what I did because otherwise that stupid line, that hot line was just suck. I still gotta put everything back on, but I just wanted to make sure that everything was working fine. To bleed it, you're gonna need an eight 
it's okay if you use this one. You just kind of open it and close it a little bit. You're not going to hurt anything, but then you're going to need an a knife to bleed, bleed it from there, from the slate cylinder. See, I put that cap on because that's how it comes and I like to keep it like that. I still got to fix all this mess right here. Don't worry about that. But to bleed it, I used a friend that he was pushing it from the inside and I use this guy right here. It's perfect. You guys should get one of this. That's that's what it's called. And this fits really like precise, like really good on the slave cylinder. Just push it and you're gold. Try to try to put it underneath the car like that so the fluid will go like this, you know, go like that and that. Yeah, and yeah so have someone inside and then when that's connected and the slave seal in there right there you just add the tool right there and then you say to push it and then you open it and then you close it and then you tell them let it go push it like that that's how i was doing it for a little while and then I just open it and I told him to, to just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. He was just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And to do that, you gotta make sure that you have some fluid inside. Otherwise it's gonna, it's gonna get air from here and that's not good. So if you have fluid inside, you're gold. And yeah, so we start bleeding it. Make sure that you don't run out of fluid, brake fluid, it's dot three. Okay, make sure you don't run out of it, otherwise you're never gonna be done taking the air out of this thing. Okay. So yeah, that's how you bleed the system. And as soon as, as soon as he said that it was getting harder and harder, I knew that it was we were on the good, good side. So he kept going. It got really hard. I closed it, and he said, "Man, this is really hard." So that was it. We knew that. I knew that. We were done with it. So um, another thing, uh, make sure when you're stalling it, when you're stalling it, make sure that you put the bolts in first. Sorry if the car is dirty again. I mean, it's been sitting for a little bit, but make sure that you put the, the bolts inside. The one that is behind this, this the pedal, the clutch pedal, look, see? like it's supposed to be. So behind the clutch, uh, just one second. All right, went back with the light. So behind the, the pedal, right, right behind that piece, you're gonna see one bolt right in there. Just stick your finger in there and you'll feel the one bolt. And then the other one, it's on the other side, right there. You guys can see it. So you're supposed to put those, those ones first, tighten it all the way in, okay? And then you make sure that that guy right there, that flat part that you've seen. How can I do this with the light? That flat part on the uh, okay. This crap. Okay. Hold on, just a second. Let's see how, how I can do this. Okay, where we at? Okay, so. So this part right here, that flat part needs to be like that. No, up, just down. That flat part right there, 
it's uh, by the pin Let's see if I can get it closer that flat part you see the a gold little piece flat it has to be like that no up down okay and then the pin is supposed to go on the other side but I just put it like like this because it's easier you know the, the pin that crosses from from the pedal to that piece right there that golden piece I just put it on this side and then stick the pin in because it's easier if I ever have to mess with that again it will be much easier just to get it out so after you you tie the bolt that it's over here and then the one that I show you on the other side which is right over here on this side you tighten it up the way that it's supposed to be really tight and then you start working with this guy okay so don't forget that that gold piece the that flat gold piece right there it has to be down not up down okay and then the pin and the other pin reach down in here and you gotta you, you need to play with the bolt and all that let me let me put you guys down for a minute but yeah so what i did uh, with these two guys right here i got the i got the knot and then I went like this and then just fishing it, fishing it, touching and then got, I got it in. It's pretty difficult to get that one bolt. The other one is not so much, but the one behind the pedal, it's it's, it's going to take you a while. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to say, oh, no, this is a freaking easy job. No, it's going to take you time. Okay. And if you guys want to get that same line that I, the same setup that I have for the hard line, let me know because I can get all the parts so you don't have to go and chase. Because <coughs> that's what I did. I went in around the, the, the whole city chasing the, those freaking, uh, um, what do they call? Uh, the, whatever ties to the, to the freaking reservoir. Those weren't easy to find, so let me just let me guys let me know if you guys want to go that route or if you want to mess with the R line. You go ahead if you if you're lucky and then you get it in, good for you. If it doesn't need, good for you. But if you're tired of that, like me, just go the route that I did and you'll be golden. All right, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, next is gonna be more upgrades on the car because that was the only thing that it was stopping me from doing anything else so i don't want to make this video any longer so thank you guys for watching like and subscribe help me like that so i can make more content you know support the channel if you if you'll appreciate this information because it's gold i think i haven't seen anything like this but if you appreciate this information, please give it a like. And if you really like, if you really want to subscribe, right? So without further ado, take it easy guys and good luck. That's all I, that's all I gotta say, all right? Peace out.